The company's revenue earned from selling X items is given by the function R of X equals 36X, and their cost is given by the function C of X equals 3X squared. We want to write the function P of X that represents the company's profit from selling X items. The profit function P of X equals the revenue function R of X minus the cost function C of X. So in this case we would have our profit function P of X equals R of X equals 36X and then minus C of X which equals 3X squared. We do have to be careful if the cost function is more than one term to make sure we subtract the entire cost function. For our final profit function though, Let's write the terms in descending order. So we'll write P of X equals negative three X squared and then plus 36 X. Next we're asked to write the function as a quadratic equation by setting P of X equal to zero. So if we set P of X equal to zero, we'd have the equation zero equals negative three X squared plus 36 X. More importantly, if we set P of X equal to zero and solve, we determine the break-even points for the company, meaning the number of items they would sell to make zero profit. Now, of course, the company wants to make a profit, but it's also helpful to know how many items must be sold to break even. So for the last part of this question, we want to solve this quadratic equation to find the minimum and maximum number of items that can be sold that will result in the company breaking even. So let's go ahead and solve this equation on the next slide. We want to solve zero equals negative three X squared plus 36 X. Remember the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor. And notice looking at these two terms, they share a common factor of three as well as a common factor of X. So the greatest common factor is three X, but because this first term is negative, we can factor out three X or we can factor out negative three X. Often when the leading coefficient is negative, we would decide to factor out a negative rather than a positive. So let's go ahead and write this as zero equals, we'll factor out negative three X. So if we factor out negative three X from negative three X squared, we're left with one factor of X. And here we have to be careful. If we factor out negative three X from positive 36 X, we'd be left with negative 12. Notice that negative three X times negative 12 does give us positive 36 X. So now this product equals zero when negative three X equals zero or when the factor of X minus 12 equals zero. So here we divide both sides by negative three. But of course zero divided by negative three is zero. So X equals zero or here we'd add 12 to both sides. So we have X equals 12. So there are two break-even points. If the company sells zero units, they make zero profit. If the company sells 12 units, they still make zero profit. So going back to the question, so the company must sell at least zero units to break even, and the company can sell at most 12 units and still break even. So hopefully the company will sell somewhere between zero and 12 units to make some profit. I hope this was helpful.